smidge. Let's talk markets now with Sherry Paul, Senior Portfolio Manager and Private Wealth Advisor at Morgan Stanley. Also, uh, Linda Dissel, Senior Equity Strategist at Federated uh, Ermes. It's good to uh, have both of you on. Uh, welcome to both. Uh, Linda, so your take on where we are here, right? We had this nice rally going, but a little bit of upset over the past few days. Where do we go from here? Uh, yeah, well, it's actually been one of the strongest starts to a year on record almost wherever you go, with the exception of oil and the U.S. dollar. So uh, a big, big run up. We should be consolidating now in through the end of this month and uh, and maybe further. But uh, there's still a lot of momentum in this market. And with all, you know, with lots of people, lots of uh, stocks underneath the biggest ones rallying. It's hard to be a bear here right now. It looks like the pain trade is definitely to the upside. So many people in cash and uh, they're too long in cash. They're becoming impatient. Wow. OK, I'm, it's, it's interesting to hear you say that. So, Sherry, do you agree it's hard to be a bear here? Because I feel like most people are, regardless of this yeah. start of the year that we've had. Well, thank you, uh, Melissa and Scott, for having me. Um, I think right now there are two things that are weighing on investors. Number one is the condition in which we're investing, uh, which is really the economic climate. And uh, that, you know, involves geopolitical and policy volatility questions around the Fed. And then number two is what's the smart thing to do with their money? And so, uh, you know, my job is to help people go from, you know, primal fear into practical portfolios. And right now, this market presents a tremendous opportunity for long-term investors. That's the bottom line. And so uh, the, the answer is that the market's going higher over the long term. And in the short term, uh, money should be placed in you know destroyed areas of the market. We make money in down markets. We want to keep it in up markets. Um, so portfolio rebalancing into consumer discretionary on a selective basis into technology and continuing to own our favorite areas, which are healthcare, utilities, and staples, to provide that sort of income ballast to a portfolio, which is crucial going forward. And so, uh, you know, you can ask yourself, which bear and bull market are people talking um, about? That would kind of hinge on time horizon. Um, but right now, my biggest concern for investors is that they stall out because indecision is sort of the death knell of performance. People need to move out of cash uh, into uh, practical portfolios going forward. And if they do that, there's a lot of opportunity going forward. So you don't think we're going back to the October lows, Sherry? Well, we already had a few retests of the, you know, of the October low. We started that, that process in uh, August. And so if you talk to sort of technicians and technical traders, which is one way of looking at the market, um, we've kind of already hit those retests. Uh, I think that instead of, though, um, you know, I think we've got to break this cycle of perfectionism, I think, that's come into investing, uh, where people want to know the answer before they place money. That's not the, the chassis of capitalism, forward thinking. And so, yes, maybe we might. Um, however, I think in the long term right now, there are a lot of great companies that are at a discount. And it always amazes me that that's when people are afraid to step in when things have gotten actually cheaper.